Why would I make that up? I don't know, maybe, who knows? I'll just agree with you. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, I have your number. Okay. I'm so shocked with your accent. What did you expect me to sound like? I am from the UK, yes. Sound prudish. What does that mean? Prudish? Really? You think so? I do know what that means. I don't think so. Hi from South Korea. Hey. You sound a little Australian. I feel like if you're not from the UK, you're not English, people do think Australian and British sound the same. But overall, like, I have a, a couple Australian friends and we definitely don't sound the same. But I can see we get it, like why you'd get it confused. I think our accents are most similar to Australian. Do this. Mm -hmm. Moroccan roots. <laughs> Moroccan. Never had that one before either. I usually get like Italian or uh ah. Uh, fucked up the lips or um I don't know what else do I get yeah or Brazilian I do see that but I feel like my face can probably look a bit Brazilian but like my body is not Brazilian because they all have like the best asses and tits. <laughs> Mine doesn't follow along, unfortunately. Fave makeup brand. Oh, um, <laughs> probably Charlotte Tilbury, honestly. Um, but that's only because I think their makeup's very natural, you know? Like, I hate makeup that's like, you know, like Kat Von D or like ones that like really like, oh, like cover you up. I don't like that. Do you have a boyfriend? I don't. I am single. How old are you? I'm 20. I actually look my age today. See you later. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Right. I kind of want to do more. This is what happens, right? I do my makeup and then I'm like, oh my God, like, this is not enough. Like, I need to do more. But I look great. <laughs> I look great. Oh yeah. I do have filler, I have 0 0.7. We always do this. Da, 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 da. I've been up at Jeskies. She's definitely got on Love Island. No, they've messaged me so many times, but oh my God, I don't think I do very well on Love Island. Um, only because, I don't know. I just don't think I do that well. I also think it's going so downhill, like, 
if you came out before, like, you know, you actually had, like, you know, you actually had, like, and, like, yeah, they have jobs now and they're doing okay, but I just think unless you're already in the industry, kind of like Molly May was, like, she already had a YouTube, um, you know? And I wouldn't go there just to, like, come out and be, like, nothing. And the thing is, is, like, it's so unpredictable. Like, you don't know what could happen. And, like, that scares the shit out of me. Like, imagine coming out after, like, a day of being in there and, like, everyone just saying, like, you're the reject. Oh! Like I said, I can't deal with embarrassment, so I don't think I would ever go on there. Mainly because I hate not knowing the outcome. You always do this. You would not get rejected. But sometimes it's not even about rejection. Sometimes it's like just you just don't get along with somebody in there and you get kicked out. Or like it's like, you know, it's not about your looks. I'm not talking about getting rejected by a guy. I'm talking about... Um, as in, like, getting kicked out first. So, like, obviously, like, I find someone in there, but, like, nobody else on the outside thinks we're compatible. Or, like, I also would hate to be portrayed the wrong way. Because, like, I say...